current US government, one of their mandates was to challenge game developers to create more educational and informative games, um, particularly because they're so much more popular with young people now. Um, so as a result of this, the uh, US Embassy here in, uh, here in Ireland, uh, with Griffith College, who do a lot of work in games development, and Kotorocho, and the Marine Institute uh, created a competition called This Is Not A Game, essentially putting a challenge to young people to create games that raised awareness about the uh, environmental impacts on ocean life. Uh, basically I did most of the game mechanics for the game and uh, basically uh, put together how the turtle moves and how the health and hunger bar work and uh, how every how the turtle eats the plastic bags and the uh, jellyfish. Was it a fun project to work on? Yeah it was for the most part you know you know except for parts you know when you kind of forget to save things and you have to work on it all over again. These kids took uh, a, a concept, uh, it took about a month and a half uh, to work from a concept to finished product. Um, and I think they really got it. They really understood that um, they were designing a game, but they were designing a game that addressed some very serious issues, and that is how do we protect the maritime environment. The thing about like game development is it, it's still a very niche thing, but there are a ton of uh, a ton of uh, kids interested in it, but all very separated out. So when you have an, a competition like this, is not a game that can bring them together and get uh, put people in teams and let them work together and really give them a platform to show off what they can do. I mean, seeing like the the talent not just in terms of artwork but programming and the different tools and technologies used, it was incredible.